This is the T1. It's a waterproof AMOLED screen smartwatch with a lot of nice features. It's a swimming watch. You have the ability to drain water. It's vibrating and making sound to get the water out of the speaker if you have any in here. Remember when Apple got all excited and demoed that to us years ago? Brightness control. You can lock the screen if you want to so you, uh, when you're swimming it won't change. Twist your wrist to see the time and all those goodies. Messages pushed from your phone, sure enough, they'll come right here to the watch. Coming around, I've got my activity step count for the day shown in completion uh, bars here or the actual numbers here, including number of times a day you've stood up and moved around. Land in heart rate, you get the actual heart rate, no chart or anything. Oh, you do have a chart. Okay. We slide it up and there's the chart for the day. Awesome. A uh, high and low and your current value from midnight to midnight. Come over here, you got weather. Uh, including forecast information. Here you've got last night's sleep time, although I don't know why it didn't record. It did uh, record it, and it got transferred to the app, but it's not showing on the watch. Music player, we'll demo that. That shows you um, you can uh, have music playing from your phone through the watch, and then back to a variety of watch faces, which you can simply change by twirling here, including custom watch faces you download from the app itself. When you tap the button, you get into your sports, uh, which is all the different activities you can do. And warning, uh, you can record them here, but they don't stay on the watch, and they don't right now transfer to the app either. There's a glitch somewhere. Records is just your step count stuff we already saw. Heart rate. You do have blood oxygen. It's an instantaneous reading. It's not doing blood oxygen in the background, but it does use the red diode. Your sleep pressure is not air pressure. It's not blood pressure. It's some sort of a uh, emotional pressure, like fatigue or something. Um, you have your breath, uh, uh, breathing exercise, uh, which is really well implemented here. Met is some sort of a calculation that uh, the company Mebro has created to show how well you're doing. You've got your phone where you can uh, monitor your contacts, recent calls, or bring up the touchpad for making calls when it's tethered to the phone uh, for Bluetooth calling. That's great. Your music player. You've got timers in here. You've got alarms you can set. And you've got a stopwatch that uh, doesn't run in the background, but it does have a stopwatch feature. Your messages, of course, push from your phone. And then all your different settings are in here, which we go into detail later, including powering down, resetting, uh, or about the watch, which says it's this actual name known as the T1. When we get it back to the beginning, you can find that you can... Uh, uh, flip through any of the uh, watch faces simply by twirling the knob. It comes with a nice rubberized band. Uh, it's got a really nice build to it with some attention to detail, kind of a gunmetal look, speaker, microphone, sensors on the back, two-port charging card, removable, twistable uh, bands. Uh, overall, an excellent watch. Twist your wrist works. It's the T1. Check it out.